graph of the circle using this equation right here. The point 3, negative 6 is on the circle. The question is, how do we find the coordinates of the point that's on the other end of the diameter? And the key is that the center of the circle will be the midpoint of the diameter. So we have to find the center of the circle. And we do that by completing the square. I reorganized the terms here so that we can see that we have to fill in this blank with the number that will turn the first three terms into a perfect square trinomial. And we do that by taking half of the number in front of x, which will be negative 3, and squaring 9. And that means we have to add 9 to the other side of the equation to keep it in balance. And similarly, for the y-coordinate, half of this 2 is 1. 1 squared is 1. you got to add a 1 here. And now this lets us put the equation in standard form for a circle. We can rewrite this perfect square trinomial as x minus 3 the quantity squared, this second trinomial as y plus 1 the quantity squared, and when I add these constants on the right, <clears throat> I get 25. That tells us that the circle has a center at 3, negative 1, with a radius of 5. So here's the center, at 3 minus 1. So it so happens that uh, the diameter, or the center of the circle and the point 3, negative 6 uh, lie on a vertical line. So we really only have to find, that means the x-coordinate of this point up here has to be 3. And let me jot down the fact that this is 3 minus 1. Now if this wasn't a vertical line, we'd have to use the midpoint formula. Uh, I could say that the coordinates of this point are x sub 1 comma y sub 1. And applying the midpoint formula with these y coordinates tells us that the negative 1, which is the y coordinate of the midpoint, has to equal the average of the y coordinates of the two endpoints. That would be y sub 1 plus or minus 6 divided by 2. That's the midpoint formula for the y coordinate. Multiply both sides by 2, whoop, equals y sub 1 minus 6. Add 6 to both sides, and we get y sub 1 equals 4. And if it wasn't obvious, we could do the same thing with the x-coordinate uh, to get the x-coordinate of the other endpoint of the diameter. So this point right here is 3, 4. There you go. Hope that helped.